Hello friends, welcome to LabTex. My name is Nasser and uh, today I will demonstrate you a case study. However, the motherboard has uh, come out, uh, come from some previous engineer and he has tried a lot. I would like to show you that uh, uh, what is the problem. That is the very, uh, you can say that very pathetic kind of problem which uh, really very Herculean task to short out. Now, let us have a look. So, this is the motherboard, the part number is NM-B241 and uh, when you inject the power, so this is the ampere load you will find on the, this is the merely ampere it is taking. So, as soon as you inject uh, DC power and you try to check out the voltage, so the, the first MOSFET is not transferring voltage, you can see on the multimeter, this is the voltage. I am getting on this point. And uh, one more thing, that is a good thing I would like to show you in the diagram. So, you can have a look on the diagram. So, on this point I have voltage which is directly coming out from the, this is the point where we have the voltage 20 volt, okay. We have 20 volt on this point. And uh, if you talk about that, uh, this gate, this is the N, N channel MOSFET and uh, it requires uh, high voltage, AC drive it is required in order to switch on both are required high voltage around 26 voltage need to come on this place on the gate side and then it will it become N1 and uh, after switching this MOSFET it becomes N2 voltage. But uh, very surprisingly we are getting voltage on this point okay let us have a look here. So, we do not we have the voltage on the input side of this MOSFET you can see on the multimeter so 20 volt now. See here, we do not have voltage on this point, okay, but we have the voltage on the sensing register as you have seen PR301, okay. Here we have voltage and uh, consequently we are getting all across the motherboard, all the voltages are available, like here we have voltage and uh, all the required voltage we have like on the core IC I am checking the high drive side we have the 20 volt all across the motherboard we have the voltage. So, this is the very surprising thing why these things is happening while my you can see that uh, why while my first MOSFET is not switched then why I uh, and how I am getting voltage on these points like as I have checked here I am getting voltage on this point. So, how is that possible? Now, you can see here that somebody has uh, changed the core IC, controller IC and uh, MOSFET is also changed, you know, heat the temper mark is here and uh, charging IC obviously it has been replaced already and uh, I think BIOS is not done. So, that is a good thing. So, many more things has been done in this motherboard and I have received from the, my previous engineer whosoever has worked on this. So, now what should I do? And one uh, difference uh, I am getting from the different motherboard as I have shown you I have just repaired this motherboard. Let me show you. I have just repaired this motherboard. This is the same part number as you can see here. This is the same part number here. The last video as you have seen that uh, as it was not having a core voltage and I have repaired this one. You have commented on that video that was in Hindi. So, now here I have checked I am getting on this point 8 voltage. That is the battery charging voltage, but in this model what I am getting here you have to check. So, here I am getting 20 volt. So, that is the very bad thing if you inject the battery maybe battery could be short. So, you should not inject the battery if you have 20 volt on the this point. If the architecture of the motherboard is having NVDC, so narrow voltage, if it is having the narrow voltage, then you must get some high voltage on the on this particular point, like 8 volt and 12 volt, like Apple worked on the PP voltage, PP bus, G3 hot. The same architecture is also nowadays is used in the latest generation. So, around 8 to 12 volt you will get on this point, but if you get high voltage like here we are having 20 volt that is not good okay. So, why we are getting this high voltage if you remove any uh, however it has been seen, but let me show you some clue. If uh, we do not have the voltage on the these these points, so we cannot have the voltage on this point okay on this point. If we have voltage on this point 
so let's have a look on these area here is the 20 volt which will go through this okay and uh, if anyhow this particular area is having 20 volt then what could be happen from here to here it will go and uh, it will see the diode mod is forward biased so it will you will see that the voltage can go across it and it will reach on this point here is the blocking mosfet so that is why we are not having voltage on this point zero voltage we are having since we are having the blocking mosfet blocking side diode on this side so that is why voltage cannot go across this area so this is the point here so might be battery plus area how many battery plus area we are getting on this uh, motherboard so if you uh, check it you will see that the battery area if we have any situation look we are just assuming what could be happen here like uh, if you don't have voltage here why do you have voltage on the on this point so here we have 20 volt here we have 0 volt why we have 20 volt on this point so this is the reason i am telling you how it could be 20 volt on this point if this uh, diode is short let's suppose this diode is short so what will happen the 20 volt will enter here and it will go back on this point and this 20 volt will reach on this point okay the 20 volt will reach on this point and through this path it will go and through the diode mod it will reach on this point the same thing is happening here so let's check this one this could cause a big trouble okay so this is the scenario here so let's think this is the pd302 now see here this is the pd uh, let me clear it so that you can see it let me clean it up uh, yes pd302 here it is written pd302 now see here we should have look this is the two input source this is this diode work is two input source individual input source one source is uh, from the dc area from where the 19 volt will enter if it is working on the dc jack if it is not working on the dc jack then it will work with the battery mod from the other terminal okay if the both terminal is combined together this will happen now see here here we have 20 volt here we have 20 volt on the other side we should not have if any of the battery area i'm checking here we should not have voltage so remove it remove this uh, DC now set it on the uh, continuity mode and now what you have to do you have to check shorting so this is not short but this this is the battery area I think because as I told you here if the battery area is short however if VIN is short then it's okay we will not get voltage on this point zero volt we will get on this point if the VIN area is short but if the battery area is short like here if it is shorting from here to here then what will happen the vin will reach to the battery area and that this battery area will be having 20 volt and this 20 volt will reverse the entire voltage to the n2 okay so this is the problem here so what do we do here since we have shorting on this point let's have a look okay so see the ohm 6 ohm it is coming on the multimeter see the multimeter it is having 6 ohm merely and uh, this is not good now let's remove it and uh, as i was injecting power you have seen it was not turning on it was having merely 0 0.0217 ampere it was taking load however it should uh, turn on by itself now remove it okay now the situation should be according to our demand like a uh, as I will inject the power, I should not have voltage across the motherboard. Okay. Now, I think something went wrong. Okay. Let's just uh, check it only. The 20 volt we have, and since I am not using anything, so we are not having voltage anywhere. Okay. You can see on the multimeter, we are not having voltage on the any point. Now what I will do, I do not have the dual diode, so this is the HP uh, scrap motherboard I have, so I will take out any silicon diode, first uh, I would like to make sure that my DC in area should be ok.
However, uh, I have checked here. Uh, one thing, if you have a close look here, it, I have cut this point because AC OK was not available on this charging IC, and uh, AC OK it will be high on the BQ four eight seven. What is the number? Let me make it short. It is the BQ seven eight zero. You can say twenty four seven eight zero, and uh, I was not having. Uh, 3.3 volt on the AC OK, and I just cut it. Instead of removing controller I/O, you just cut it before the pull-up voltage. Uh, sorry, after the pull-up voltage because 3 volt is required from the pull-up. So I have cut a, cut it, but despite so nothing changed. And now I am going to make it sure only. That is why I am not using the dual diode. I don't have. I have to manage to fix it anyhow. Two silicon diode I can fix. On this place, okay. So one diode I have used, and that was VIN area. It will not work on the battery as of now. If I check it, if any everything will work, it will not work on the battery. So now I'm going to inject. Now you see it is turned on, okay. Light is available. Now you can see the light is glowing on the motherboard. And uh, let me check the thing. I I should not have voltage. Let's see. As I told you, there must be eight volt, or the, this is called the HPB hybrid power boost technology. And uh, you must get some high voltage on this point, but not twenty volt. Okay. And uh, this particular area has no voltage. And uh, we have only voltage on the DC. As of now, the volt uh, everything is working here. Now let's check the display. If the display comes, it will appear on my DSO. So I am going to use my DSO in order to check the display. So you will see on the uh, CRO that uh, if the display comes successfully connected to your computer. So that is a good thing. The display has come. But now I have to. What I need to do, I have to take out one more diode from here, and uh, because uh, dual diode is very difficult to find, this particular diode, this particular diode is very uh, much difficult to find out in any scrap motherboard. So you can take help of this type of diode. You take out the two diode, different diode, and you just fix it. So I hope that you have understood this case study, and uh, let me. Finally, fix this one. So I am going to re remove the any one uh, any of the diode, silicon diode. Yes, you have to make it sure that the diode which you are selecting must be silicon, because uh, as it was showing on the schematic that uh, it is not zener, it is not short key. So it is really difficult task to fix it, but despite you have to do it. So it is fixed here, and uh, two terminal I will connect manually like this way. I will make a jumper wire from the this terminal to this terminal. It is slightly difficult, but you have to do it. You have only way if you don't have the dual diode. Now I have to uh, fix it terminal because it is slightly moving here and there. And uh, it's better to use my soldering iron, okay, from the back side. Okay, it's better. So now you can have a look on this uh, particular point uh, that uh, I have just uh, separately connected the all the anode side and the cathode is the same. 
So, if it is working on the battery, the voltage it will take from this point, from this point it, it is coming 8 volt and uh, if it is working on the DC jack, it will come out from this point. So, now finally check it. So, it is working now, you can see it is turned on and uh, let us check the diode because uh, diode will not switch on from the less voltage as uh, the delta voltage you have uh, seen. Now, you see that uh, on the one side we have 8 volt on the other we have 20 volt. So, it is perfectly working. Guys as you have seen this case study and I hope that you have enjoyed this video and uh, if you have any queries please uh, comment on the comment box and uh, if you want to learn the logic level of uh, laptop repairing you can contact on the given number have any problem uh, to understand the schematic if you have any problem to understand the uh, internal logic of any particular regulator you can have query to contacting on the given number so it's better if you just uh, text me on the whatsapp because we have loads of uh, work and uh, we cannot respond uh, properly so it's better to whatsapp us on the given number so guys if you really like this video Please share it on the common groups and uh, so that other other will be get benefit from this video and uh, if you are new in our channel please subscribe it because uh, every time to time we upload uh, this types of information in our channel so that is why you should uh, press the bell icon button so that you will get notification from our channel so keep on loving keep on watching thank you watching this video